prosecution continues presenting its case in day two of the trial of officer Caesar Goodson. He is one of six officers accused in the arrest of Freddie Gray, and he faces the most serious charges, including second degree murder. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren is live from Courthouse East with the latest developments in this case. Good afternoon, Mike. Good afternoon, Lynn. Good afternoon, everybody. The sole witness on the stand this morning is Dr. Carol Allen. She is the assistant medical examiner who ruled Freddie Gray's death a homicide. The defense has argued that she was pressured by the state's attorney's office to expedite the report and given hand selected evidence by them to bolster their theory that this was a homicide. She denies all of that. Prosecutors are continuing to build their murder case against Officer Caesar Goodson Jr. And they've got to prove this case beyond a reasonable doubt, and I think that that's really where they're going to have some difficulty. The state contends Officer Goodson gave a defenseless Freddie Gray a rough ride, and they have video evidence to prove it. They say Goodson was upset. Gray caused a scene during his arrest, so he ran a stop sign on Fremont Avenue and took a harsh turn, nearly severing Gray's spine. I hope when police officers have people in custody or try to apprehend them that they would think before they go into action because that's what has caused all this to happen to Freddie and to Baltimore. The defense has aggressively questioned the more than half a dozen prosecution witnesses. In opening statements yesterday, Officer Goodson's lawyers said what happened to Gray was a freakish accident and that Gray himself is responsible. They say Goodson was following supervisor's orders as he drove Gray around West Baltimore and believe the autopsy's determination of homicide was about a political pressure. I think the defense are planting many seeds for the judge with the hope of finding a reasonable doubt of guilt. There could be some surprises ahead, notably on Monday, a deadline the judge gave prosecutors to turn over any new evidence after he'd found they'd withheld crucial evidence multiple times from the defense for not only Goodson, but also the other officers being prosecuted in this case. Now, Dr. Allen admitted on the stand this morning that she met with police and prosecutors multiple times before making her homicide finding. You'll remember in that infamous video, Freddie Gray is seen dragging his legs. She said there was never any indication that his legs were injured or broken, never any indication that he was tasered. And she said that there's no indication he ever had asthma. You'll recall he asked for his inhaler uh, to police who initially arrested him. Live at Courthouse East, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. And here's what you need to know as the officer Caesar Goodson trial continues. The assistant medical examiner testified today detailing Freddie Gray's injuries. She ruled his death a homicide and says she stands by that ruling. Goodson is the only officer of the six not to give a statement to investigators about what happened that day. Goodson faces second-degree murder charges in the death of Freddie Gray.